Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the workflow for assigning a flange plated moment connection for a beam and column splice. We will now turn our attention to our RAM connection standalone application, where we have several different joints that have already been set up in our sample model. For this particular video, we're going to be working on our beam splice and our column splice joints. Let's go ahead and start with our beam splice, which is joint number five. Now this is a typical beam splice that has both a shear and moment reaction imposed upon it. Now the connection type I'm getting ready to assign is a flange plate connection. Now this type of connection is capable of resisting a moment reaction, but it is not capable of resisting a shear reaction. For that reason, I've already gone ahead and assigned a shear connection to the currently selected joint, which is basically a single plate beam splice connection. So now that the shear reaction has already been resolved, let's go ahead and work on the moment component of this reaction at the beam splice. To start that process, select the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on the assign icon. In the connection assignment dialog, notice that RAM connection standalone has already appropriately set your filter to the currently selected joint type, which for this case is a beam splice. Now all the different connection types within RAM connection standalone are capable of resisting certain types of forces, whether it be shear, moment, or both. Since we've already satisfied our shear requirements, we're specifically looking for a moment connection and I'm going to go with a flange plate moment connection. Now this is available in either a basic or smart connection workflow. For this particular example let's go with a basic connection type. We're going to find our moment section and we're looking for the acronym FB for flange plate. You could see here that we have the option to go with either a bolted or a welded connection. We're going to go ahead and select the bolted option for this exercise and then we will click on the assign button. Now we can see that a moment connection has been successfully assigned to the currently selected joint. So we'll go ahead and click on the close button. Now in the joint selection area we should be able to see the controlling interaction ratio. We can see that both a moment and a shear connection have been assigned to the currently selected joint and that the interaction ratio is less than 1.0, meaning it passed all the code check requirements. This information is indicated in green, which means that there were no warnings or errors that were encountered during the connection design process. Let's go ahead and move on to our column splice joint. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select joint number six. Now, similarly to the beam splice connection type, this joint also has both a moment and a shear reaction imposed upon it. As you can see, we've already taken care of the shear component of the reaction with a single plate column splice shear connection. We are now ready in our workflow to assign the moment connection to this joint. So let's go ahead and get started by clicking on the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on the assign icon. Now again, the filter is going to be appropriately set up for a column splice since that is the joint type that we currently had selected. Now, a flange plate moment connection is only available in a basic connection workflow. And again, we have the option for either a bolted or welded 
connection type. For this example, I'm going to select the column splice, flange plate, welded connection template, and then click on the assign button. Once the connection has been assigned, the connection assignment dialog will indicate the status of the connection design. In the joint selection area, we will be able to see that the interaction ratio for the currently selected joint is less than 1.0 and it is in green, meaning that no errors or warnings were encountered during the connection process. In your main window, you can also see that both a moment connection and a shear connection have been assigned to the currently selected joint. Now, when you have two different connection templates that are assigned to the same joint, you can edit each individually. Here you can see that if we were to select the edit icon on the design tab of the ribbon toolbar, we can edit either the shear connection or the moment connection. When you edit any connection within RAM Connection Standalone, you'll be able to see the connection pad for that connection. Through the connection pad, you can review your connection calculations through the results icon. You can take a look at your DXF view, and you can also make modifications to the connection design as needed. For this particular example, I'm not gonna make any changes, so I'm just going to exit out of the connection pad and this would conclude our process for assigning a flange plate moment connection to both a beam splice and a column splice joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.